Hello everyone, my name is Team Lou Spaulding and I'm a Trans Channel. Hello subscribers. Uh, today is September 5th and there is a second big hurricane heading towards uh, the United States and it seems interesting that there are two very very large uh, hurricanes one after the other and I'm curious about the uh, if there's any special meaning of that. So I'm going to ask Jesus to address this subject um, and we'll see what he has to say. So I take a couple of breaths and he will come through, introduce himself and it's very clear when he is speaking and not me and I will see you at the end of the session. Thanks. <clears throat> I am that one that you know as Jesus, and these are difficult times for many of you in the southeastern United States. What is happening here with your weather? Well, we have spoken about the escalating energies on your planet, and your weather systems are being artificially escalated along with the increasing activity, agitation, and uh, fractiousness of these energies. Why is this happening? Well, you have systems on your planet that are hidden beneath the facade of normalcy. You have your elections and you have your political systems, you have your banking systems, you have your armies and your air forces and your navies. You have your uh, national boundaries and prime ministers and presidents. And these are all acting in a certain way to give a certain impression. The impression is deception. It is not what is actually happening in your world. There are far greater things going on than you have been permitted to see. Your alternative media is uh, has been putting up a valiant effort to disseminate this information. But because of the control practices of your society, they only reach a certain percentage of the population. Now, some of you would say, what is Jesus doing talking about these subjects? Well, the health of humanity has always been my purpose. Directing you towards love has always been my purpose directing you to focus on that which you want more of has always been my purpose. The kingdom of heaven is within you. It is not outside of you. What has this to do with hurricanes? Well, if you look at the frequency of the pressures that have pushed you towards lack of peace, violence, judgment, that is your mass media systems and they are intentionally shepherding you towards a frequency where things such as this are possible. Nothing can happen to you that is not of your frequency. And so if you cultivate peace, you will experience peace. If you cultivate war, you will experience the frequency of war. You may not experience war itself, but you will experience things of a like frequency. Now, there is a great deal of unrest in the mind when it seems as if the victim is being blamed for the attack. But we want to remind you that this entire system, this whole universe is a reflective universe and that you are powerful creators. Your free will has been usurped by systems of indoctrination. We repeat ourselves, we know, but we must get you to understand that nothing bad can happen to you if you are not in the frequency of that particular event. So you can be a person shopping in a store and uh, there is a holdup. If you are of a low frequency, you may become involved in that holdup. 
if you are of a higher frequency, you may be hiding behind a shelf, never to be seen by the beings with the guns. Now, in your materialistic, secular instructions, your scientific method that you have been taught, these are random events. The frequency you hold is not taught to you in your scientific method, but it is a spiritual truth that whatever the frequency you hold, you will get experiences of something like that. Somebody who had an even higher frequency may have thought about going to the store, but they would have changed their minds. They would have thought, oh, no, I'll go tomorrow. I don't need that thing tonight. There are a multiplicity of possibilities of encountering that particular negative incident. Included in that multiplicity of possibilities is your karmic history. That means all of the decisions you've ever made, all of the things you decided in your blueprint to experience so that you could grow and understand yourself. So this is not just a simple linear thing, but there is a collective frequency that has been cultivated in North America by the indoctrination systems that have intentionally been doing this, and that is the frequency of war, fear, and judgment, perpetrated by your movies, perpetrated by your crime dramas, perpetrated by your post-mortem shows about dead bodies and murderers, couched in very good script, couched in very interesting characters that hook you in and make you tune in to the frequency of death and destruction. What do the heroes do in your mass uh, blockbuster movies? They destroy, they go around with machine guns, killing the bad guys, but the frequency, even though your mind has been trained to see them as the good guy, the frequency is one of destruction, the frequency is one of death. We, mu we cannot emphasize this enough, and as you watch these events play out, Check into the frequency. Are you, is the frequency that of watching a car accident? Is the frequency of that of, oh, let me see the destruction, let me see the death? Or is the frequency of prayer, let these beings survive, let there be love and protection for these beings? Check in with yourself, the frequency that you are holding as you observe these incidents. Now, there are many technologies that are being used on your planet that are not open to the public. The trillions of dollars that go missing in your budgets are being spent on these technologies. Are we to t not tell you this because we are spiritual? No, you need to know it. You need to know how you are being played because it is a spiritual playing, it is a frequency playing, it is a usurpation of your free will. You must take back your minds and you must direct them towards what you want. So don't envision destruction, envision the uh, dissipation of the energy of that storm. Don't envision people being hurt, envision people thriving. Don't even look at the hurricane if you are not there. It is none of your business. It is being fed to you to keep your frequency low. It is a frightening phenomenon. Nature uh, run riot. That is one of the things that can get the ego's mind. Uh, it becomes scared of the environment. It's already scared of the environment. It's already locked away from nature. You are frightened of nature now. This is one of the ways that systems can use nature to cause chaos and more fear. The transition of your society from the old to the new is underway and there are many aspects of technology being used in an attempt to thwart that transformation. All of you must use your intention, your love, your training of mind, what have we been telling you to do for a long time here? Train your mind so that you can get it where you want it to be, so that you aren't being played by media. If you bring your focus onto what you want in your life, now this seems as if you don't care about those other people, 
That is not true. If you focus on the good and the loving and the peaceful in your life, you shift the whole frequency of the planet. You shift the whole frequency because this is a fractal universe. It is a holographic universe. It means as above, so below. Whatever you do is magnified by the many. So if there are 5,000 of you that watch this video and you all turn your attention to seeing that that hurricane dissipate, you will have an effect on it. But this is a manifestation of current frequencies that have been built upon over the last few years. You must understand that every day you set your frequency. Every morning when you step out of bed, you decide, am I going to side with love or am I going to side with fear? Am I going to let my mind run away with me or am I going to focus it on what I want? Am I going to dedicate myself to love? Uh, increasing my frequency in whatever form that feels right for me. It will be different for all of you. Don't worry about uh, becoming a sheep. You already are being shepherded. Align yourself with your unique, creative, loving nature through a disciplined practice and you will be assisting those beings that are being attacked by the weather. And we use that all in inverted commas. They are not being attacked by the weather. They are having a reflection shown to them. We are not blaming the victim, but you must understand that this world is a reflective world. And unless you take your minds into the frequency of love, peace, and caring and communion, you are going to have these very, very intense demonstrations of the negative frequency that is being held in certain parts of the world. Now, there are floods in many parts of the world. There are wars in other parts of the world. But this is a demonstration of your global frequency. Many people live in fear. Many people are oppressed by controlling military systems or political systems or financial systems. This is a global epidemic of control and manipulation. The globalization program is working very well, and it was a dark and nefarious program. These teachings work if you work them. If you train your mind, you will begin to see a different world reflected back to you personally. And we will tell you that for every miracle you receive, there are a thousand more miracles that transform the planet based on the work that you are doing. So do not think that you are being selfish by training your mind and gazing on your own life. You are doing the most powerful thing that can be done. And if you choose, you can send some money to the victims, quote unquote, of these disasters. But do not feel obligated to. Everybody is receiving back to them a reflection of their frequency. And this is not a punishment. This is just the way this particular um, universe works. It is reflective. It is not a punishing God saying you should not watch bad TV. It is just saying this is the reflection of your frequency. This is where you are as a population. There are particular parts of the world that are far more peaceful than other parts. The karmic history of the beings in those peaceful places is a reflection of the choices they have made in many lifetimes, not just this one. So if you see these reflections as a one lifetime experience, then that is the wrong view. You have mul a multiplicity of incarnations that are reflective and cumulative. If you don't like the reflection you're seeing, change what you're focusing on and your reflections will shift and improve if you shift and improve the frequency that you are holding within your mind, within your heart, and with the words you speak. We hope that this has helped you. We want you to know that spirit is on your side. There are many, many beings of high frequency, both terrestrial, non-terrestrial, physical, non-physical, working to support your planet's transformation from a 3D planet into a 5D planet. That means that you must choose love to raise your frequency up out of 3D solid materialistic secular physical beliefs 
you must go to the heart. You must go to the heart and in that place of love and forgiveness, you transform your mind. That is what we have always told you from the day, from day one of our physical incarnation on this planet to now. You must use your heart to forgive yourself, to forgive the world, step back from judgment and transform your mind into alignment with the loving frequency. That is the one that will bring you the experiences you want. These disasters, these wars, these uh, many, many uh, distortions on your planet are all manifestations of mind being usurped. And you are manipulated, you are controlled through your education systems and many other systems that you are not even aware of. But there is one rule in this universe that cannot be broken. It is the rule of free will. If you train your mind and you begin to selectively and purposefully design your thoughts to align with loving ideas and words and deeds, then you will change things. But if you are passive, if you are unfocused, if you are easily swayed by other people's opinions and news, you will be led down the garden path that you have already been led down further and further and further. Now is the time to take back your mind, take back your focus, turn off your televisions, don't watch disasters as if they are reality TV. You've been trained into watching disasters. That is what reality TV is, watching the lower egoic consciousness manifest. And that is what the feeling to watch this hurricane is. It is the trained mind, the mind that is trained into watching the ego's chaos. Take a higher path. Turn to the heart. Do things that are loving for you. Do things that are loving for others if you feel like it. But if you feel like being alone and working on your own things, do that. That is allowed. It is not selfish. It is honoring your guidance system. If you don't feel like socializing, don't. But don't isolate. Don't be lonely. If you feel lonely, then being alone is not the right thing. But if you feel like solitude and peace is the right thing, then do that. It is the frequency with which you are by yourself that dictates how you feel. Turn off your televisions, turn off your blockbuster movies. If it's violent, don't watch it anymore and dedicate that practice to your brothers and sisters on this planet and you will collectively make a difference. I am that one that you know as Jesus and these teachings seem modern and many of you will say that I am not he, but I am that one that you know as Jesus. I have always taught in whatever contemporary society in which I live. You merely look back 2,000 years ago and think of it as a historical time. When I was there, I was a contemporary teacher. I was a modern teacher. I was a revolutionary. I am no different now. I am here to stand up for love, for beauty, and for communion. And that is your job too. You have merely been trained out of it. So join us in focusing on love, focusing on kindness and forgiveness, and uh, let the warring mind go, let the warring egos, entertainments go, and uh, lift up this planet's frequency with your own ability to create and direct your thoughts and the consequent manifestations of those thoughts. We will speak to you again soon. <laughs> right. Sorry, those little sounds were my emails coming in. Please subscribe to the channel uh, and visit channelingjesus.com. You can find out about my books there and any events. I do do uh, private sessions. Uh, there's a booking page there that you can put a request in for a private session with me and Ananda. Uh, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.